All right, everyone. I'm going to call this meeting to council at, to order at 4.48 p.m. Before we begin, I'd like to start with a territorial acknowledgement. We respectfully acknowledge that the SFSS is located on the traditional unceded territories of the Coast Salish peoples, including the Musqueam, Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh, Quiquitlam, and Katsi nations. Unceded means that these territories have never been handed over, sold, or given up by these nations, and we're currently situated on occupied territories. We'll now move on to roll call of attendance. I'm going to call on you by a roll, and I'd ask that you give us your name, pronouns, and access needs. Uh, we'll start with archaeology. Archaeology, are you here? Not seeing anything in the chat. Um, Bachelor of Environment. Hi, guys. My name is Tiana. She, her pronouns. All my accesses are met. Thank you. Thank you, Tiana. Um, Behavior and Neuroscience sent regrets. Biology sent regrets. Um, biomedical, physiology, and kinesiology. Hi, my name is Gurleen. My pronouns are she, her, and all my access needs are met. Thank you, Gurleen. Next, we have um, chemistry. Chemistry, are you here today? No. Um, cognitive science is on leave. Uh, computing science. Hey, everyone. My name is Sharik. My pronouns are he, him, his, and all my access needs are met. Thank sorry, you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ooh, Sneha, do you want to do an intro? Archaeology? I'm just going to mute you. Um, you can feel free to do the intro in the chat if you'd like. Um, all right. Uh, criminology sent in regrets. Earth science. Hi, all. My name is Eden. He, him. All access needs met in lab right now, so going in and out. No worries, Eden. Um, next, we have economics. Oh, you did a chat in the uh, uh, intro of the chat. Sorry. Hi, everyone. Rafid uh, Rahman, economics counselor. He, him pronouns driving at the moment, so bear with me. Thank you. Please don't look at the screen while you're driving. Please, please, please drive safe. Um, no worries about this. Uh, education. Don't see them here. Uh, engineering science. Ah, it's a, sorry, the intro is at the beginning. Um, hello, everyone. I'm the engineering counselor, Liam Fang. My pronouns are he, him, and I'm not in a good place to use the mic at the moment. But while I find a better place, I want to give a heads up in advance that I'm here and online. So thank you, Liam. Um, and uh, intro from Sneha, apologies for being late. Um, Counselor Sneha, Archaeology Student Society, pronouns they, she, access needs. They'll be in chat today and we'll have to leave a bit early due to academic obligations. No worries. Um, next, we have uh, environmental science. Hi, everyone. My name is Grayson Bark. I use he, him pronouns, and all my access needs are met. Thank you. Thank you, Grayson. Um, film. Is the film counselor here today? Don't think so. Um, GSWS sent in regrets. Geography. In the chat, hello, my name is Natasha. She, they pronouns. All access needs are met. Thank you, Natasha. Um, Global Asia Studies, I believe, said they would be late. Um, health science. Do we have health science here? Nope. Do we have IAT here? Okay. And then we have Mechatronic System Engineering. I think Valerie, he going to be late. Yes, sorry. I mixed up. I saw engineering and I mixed up with mechatronics. He's not here yet. My apologies. Um, and next we have a certain turned 20-year-old today, philosophy. Hi, my name is uh, Ashley. Uh, my pronouns are they, she, they, um, and all my access needs are met today. And thank you for very much, Abby, for the birthday wishes. No problem. Don't worry. I'm yet to embarrass you. Don't worry. That's coming up later today. Um, next, we have political science. Hi, hey everyone. I'm Brian Dennis. <clears throat> he has pronouns. I will have to be leave between 6.30 and 7.30, and I will try to stay off the mic because I'm losing my voice. Cool, cool. Thank you, Brian. Um, 
Next, we have uh, psychology. Don't think they're here yet. Um, Sus. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Ayo Klingons are Ehem, and all my access needs are met. Thank you, Ayo. Um, SAS. Do we have SAS here? I might have seen SAS, or I might be tripping. No, I just imagined it. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Next, we have SASU. Hi, everyone. My name is Arthur Funahi Him, and for my after me, um, I am currently going to go on transit, so I might, might be just really on your chat for a while. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Arthur. Um, next, we have software systems. We have Gurmihar here. Um, SAS, I didn't see. Uh, C's. Hi everyone, my name is Andrew. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, and all my access to internet. Thank you, Andrew. Um, theater, I didn't see. Uh, world languages and literature. If you want to do an intro, you don't have to. Um, I believe they say they'd be late on Discord. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought I saw him enter the Zoom room. I could be mistaken. Um, all right, uh, DNA. So I apologize. Hi, no, sorry, sorry. Um, sorry. I'm just in the lab room, so I was waiting until the price. So, um, hi, my name is Alexandra, and my pronouns are she, her, and all of my access needs are met. The only thing is that I might have to leave a bit earlier because I have a class. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next, we have F and Misa. Hi everyone, um, I'm Sienna Dixon, I'm the counselor for the FMISA, pronouns she, her. Um, I did just test positive for COVID today, so I might be a little bit uh, in and out, um, and I have a hard stop of 8.30. All right, thank you, Sienna. And I want to welcome to her first meeting, the SOCA counselor. In the chat, Hey, my name is Amina, she, her pronouns, access needs are met. I'll be away from the mic since I'm on the bus. Sorry about that. No worries and welcome to your first council meeting. Um, that's it for CGs. We're moving on to affiliated student groups. Um, RHA. We have Emmanuel today. Oh, in the chat. Hi everyone, my name is Emmanuel, he, him, his. Awesome, thank you, Emmanuel. And access needs are met, beautiful. Um, SAC. We have SAC today. Doesn't appear we do. Um, all right, so we can move on to executives. So I'll start with acting president. Hi, everyone. My name is Abby. He, him, pronouns, and all my access needs are met. Um, next, we have the acting VP internal and organizational development. Hello, everybody. I'm Peter. He, him, his pronouns. My access needs are met. Thank you, Peter. Um, next, we have acting VP finance and services. Hi, my name is Rasko. He, him, pronouns, and all my access needs are met. Thank you. And next, we have our acting VP University in Academic Affairs. In the chat, they put, um, hello, my name is Chloe Arneson. My pronouns are they, she. Uh, all my axes are met. Nice to see everyone. How do I join the Discord? Uh, I'll connect with you on that. Well, there's a link. Um, I'll get it to you. Um, next, we have the VP External and Community Affairs. Hi everyone, my name is Ishana, she, her pronouns. Access needs met, but I will have my camera off. I might just turn it on when uh, my motions or discussion items come up. Cool, thank you. Um, next we have VP Equity and Sustainability. Hi, my name is Songyan, my, she, her pronouns, and all my assess needs are met, thank you. Thank you. And last but not least, we have the event, VP Events and Student Affairs. Hello, everyone. My name is Webho. Pronouns he, him, his. And all my access needs are met. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, bye, Bob. Um, I don't, I'm looking through the chat and I don't think I missed anyone. But um, if anyone wanted to do an intro, just go ahead and throw it in the chat and I'll read it out loud that I missed. Oh, sorry. Do want to society staff? We'll come back to that after. If any counselors um, want me to get into their intros after society staff and read it out loud, throw it in the chat now. Um, 
So first we have our board organizer. Hi everyone, this is Ella, pronoun she, her, hers, and all of my access needs are met. Thank you. Thank you. And then we have our temporary operations organizer. Hi all, Sindhu here, pronoun she, her, hers, and all my access needs are met. Awesome, thank you. Um, and we have our cognitive sciencer who is currently on leave. Yep, did I miss anyone? Doesn't look like it. So we're gonna move on to the consent agenda. Um, the consent agenda reads, be a resolve to adopt the consent agenda by unanimous consent. And right now what's in there is matters arising from the minutes from council and committee minutes. So we have our November 30th minutes from council. We have these um, December 16th minutes from exec and December 16th minutes from governance. We also have to ratify the resignation of Ethan Dungy. I'm also going to be throwing in a couple things in the chat here to put in consent agenda. If anyone dissents to these, these can be instead considered during um, uh, adoption of the agenda. I'm just going to put it here. Hope this all fits. Oh, well, I'm going to separate these. These aren't very fun to read together. So first motion is a ratification of resignation of the um, linguistics counselor. Um, so we're going to be ratifying her resignation. We're going to be ratifying the resignation of um, the uh, World Languages and Literature Counselor, and we're also going to be ratifying the resignation of the Communications Counselor. Um, so let's read this always out loud. Uh, be a result to ratify uh, all of Malaki's, uh, the Linguistic Student Union Counselor resignation effective immediately. Be a result to ratify Alan Ruck, Communication Student Union Counselor's resignation effective immediately. Be a result to ratify Raghava Payment, World Languages and Literature Student Union Counselor's resignation effective immediately. Be a result to accept, uh, and then we have a separate motion, which is, um, Ratification of regrets. So be it resolved to accept the regrets from Behavioral Neuroscience Student Union Counselor R3, R3, I'm not, sorry, I'm going to botch that. Um, uh, criminology Counselor Ava Wood, Biology Counselor Nicholas Bonilla, and um, GSWS Counselor Simran Basra. Yeah, so if anyone is opposed to considering that in consent agenda, uh, we can move that um, onto uh, regular adoption of the agenda. But if no one opposes that, we can add that onto the consent agenda. I'm not seeing any dissension. Um, so we're just gonna uh, go back to the consent agenda as a whole with that added on. Um, if anyone wants to dissent to considering the uh, consent agenda, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none that passes. Um, I want to thank everyone who's resigned for their time on council. I know Olive, Raghavan, and Alan are all long-term counselors have been here a long time and contributed a lot. And um, I know everyone really appreciates uh, the time you've spent here. And I uh, wish you want really want to wish you the best in your future endeavors. Um, okay, now we're moving on to adoption of the agenda. And the motion reads: Be resolved to adopt the agenda as presented. Um, I'll move. Can I get a seconder, please? VP Finance. Oh, you two tied. Oh, I think I heard VP Finance a little bit louder, so I'm gonna give it to Roscoe, but I'll keep that in mind for the next time you two tie. Um, all right, if you have any amendments you wanna to make to the agenda, now is the time. Um, I'm gonna start off by listing myself, and I'm gonna to move to add a new business item titled Endorsement of uh, Health and Dental Spring Referenda. Motion will read as follows. I'm going to have to paste it in chunks because it is very long. This may look familiar to some of you. Most of you, actually. I hope it looks familiar. Duly noted, Alexandra. Um, motion reads as follows. Whereas council has notified uh, Whereas council has been notified to the status of the student health and dental plan, whereas maintaining the services is a priority for the SFSS, whereas communicating all available information to the membership for the referenda would increase voter turnout and offer direction to the SFSS as to how to proceed without the, with the health and dental plan, whereas council previously has endorsed referendas such as, endorsed referendas as such on January 19, 2022 and October 26, 2022, be it resolved that council endorses the health and dental referenda. Whereas the SFSS health and dental plan was launched in 2008 with no mechanism uh, for, 
for plan benefits to keep pace with rising costs of health and dental services, except via referenda, whereas SFSS health and dental plan is one of the most utilized services by the SFSS membership and has seen significant uh, increases in claims year on year, whereas the S students have expressed interest in additional mental health support and the proposed fee adjustment allows for the SFSS to expand mental health service to uh, mental health service offerings, be it resolved to, um, sorry, where students will retain the option to choose a lower level of coverage at a lower cost, basic plan, or opt out completely if they have equivalent alternative coverage. Whereas the SFSS has already exhausted other avenues to manage plan costs without cutting benefits, knowing that you can opt out completely with alternate coverage or reduce your coverage for a lower cost, do you consent to raise the uh, SFSS health and dental plan fees by $31.92 for the policy year starting September 1st, 2023, and authorized SFSS Council to adjust the plan fee up by to 5% annually only when needed starting September 2024 to account for inflationary impacts on the health and dental services. Note of past, the health and dental uh, plan fees for September 1st, 2023 would change as follows. Enhanced plan from $267.08 to $299 per year and basic plan from $207.40 to uh, $239.32 per year. All right, sorry, that's a long, long, but it's a referenda, so we kind of got to do it right. Um, so I'll move that uh, amendment. Can you get a seconder, please? BP Finance. BP Finance seconds. Uh, is there any discussion on this? Seeing none. Um, I'm going to take this to a vote. We're going to seek unanimous consent of this. If you wish to dissent to amendments onto the agenda under new business, uh, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, this passes. So next on the list, we have Roscoe. Hi, uh, hi Mr. President. So I have two, uh, two things to amend on. Can I do it as a batch? Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to paste it in the chat, the first one. So the, the first mo motion I have, uh, it's titled uh, Grant Core Funding and Council Approved Expenditures Transparency. Uh, it reads as follows. Uh, Various the acting VP Finance and Services has received a number of requests regarding spending by society clubs and departmental student unions, as well as council itself. Whereas the acting VP Finance and Services believes that the best way to address spending questions is by transparency to society membership. Be it resolved that council task the acting VP Finance and Services with ideation of a financial expenditures transparency policy that ensures transparency of financial expenditures by SFSS groups as well as council and the executive committee while maintaining and uh, building on to adequate pri privacy protections. Be it resolved that, acting, that the acting VP finance and services involved the finance and administrative services committee in planning this policy. So that is my first motion to amend. Uh, thanks, Roscoe. Uh, did you, you said you want to do them as a batch, right? Yeah, so I have a second one now. I'm going to paste it in the chat. Yeah. Let's see if we paste it. Yep. So the second one is titled um, Ratifying Changes to the SFSS SFU DNA Letter of Agreement. Whereas the Acting VP Finance and Services has engaged with support staff and executives of SFU DNA regarding a change to a letter of agreement between the society and SFU DNA. We had resolved that council approved the changes to section 5D in regards to check requisitions in the agreement as attached to the agenda. So I'm just going to um, upload that PDF. It's literally one section that's being changed in the, just want to upload out the amended agreement onto the Zoom chat. Here, uh, can you see that, Abby? Yes. Okay, so I will move both of those. Well, oh, thank sure. you, Roscoe, you moved them. Can we get a seconder? Yeah. 
VP external. Okay, I think we got a VP external on that one. I might have misheard someone's mic unmuting there, but I think it was VP external who had the voice in there. So we're going to take VP external. Um, is there any uh, discussion on this? Seeing none, we're going to take these uh, two new business items to a vote. Um, you can, uh, oops, excuse me. Um, if you uh, want to dissent to amending those onto the agenda, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, that passes. Okay, next on our amendment list, excuse me, I just have to scroll up to find it. I believe it is Peter. Peter, go ahead. Hello, everybody. Um, so what I'm going to bring is the resubmission of the spring 2023 referendum questions. I'll just post in chat right here. I'll also oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Yes, sir. I'm, apologies. And I'll also include the uh, the PDF file that I emailed as well, just so if anybody hasn't seen over it again, I'll just send it through here as well. There we are. Cool, Peter. Do you mind if I read it out loud? Is that okay? Uh, yes, please. Okay, cool. So the motion uh, Peter's amending on reads as follows. Resubmission of spring 2020 referendum questions. Whereas spring referendum tw um, 2023 questions submitted at January 11th council meeting have been found to be complicated to navigate, whereas it has been recommended uh, by staff to reorganize the questions, include definitions that have friendlier language, be resolved to adopt the document uh, draft referendum for the ballot as new and revised version uh, of the previously approved spring referendum 2023 questions, be resolved that the acting VP finance, uh, sorry, VP internal and organizational development submit this document to the IEC as a replacement for the previous spring 2023 referendum questions. Um, so uh, VP internal is moving that amendment. Can we get a seconder, please? VP finance. Ooh, Roscoe, you double clutch. I think I gotta give that one to Arthur there. Um, so Sasu seconds. Um, is there any discussion on this? Seeing none, we'll take this to a vote. We're gonna seek unanimous consent on this. Seeking unanimous consent. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, this passes. Next on our amendments list, I believe we have Ishana. Yes, let me just copy and paste it. I have two discussion items. Um, the first discussion item is an update on SFU student climate organizer facing deportation. And the next discussion item is lobby days update and questionnaire release. Okay, we'll figure it out. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, I was just responding to someone else, but yes, Ishana, that sounds good. Um, uh, you're going to move those amendments. Can we get a second here, please? EP internal. EP internal seconds. Is there any discussion on adopting these? Seeing none. Uh, we're going to seek unanimous consent on this. Seeking unanimous consent. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, this passes. Um, I believe I am listed next. Um, so I'm going to move to move my amendment and Peter's amendment to the top of new business, um, followed by um, the Science Undergraduate Society Spring to Formal. So new business will now begin with um, the uh, Peter's motion, which is um, the resubmission of spring 2023 referendum questions, then my motion uh, regarding student care, and then um, uh, uh, the Science Undergraduate Society Spring Formal Spending Motion. So that will come, that's not, the, none of those uh, sections are going to be changing where they are. I'm just going to be moving those three to the top of new business. Um, so I'm going to move that. Uh, can we get a seconder, please? VP external. VP external. Uh, uh, seconds. <laughs> um, just going to list myself uh, just to explain that. Um, uh, we really, really need to pass my and Peter's motions for the sake of the referenda coming up. Uh, kind of have to do that. And then uh, given that um, Sus has a presentation, I don't want them waiting too, too long um, until after that presentation to hear how the motion goes. So I think it's only fair that we uh, move it up. Um, Ayo, go ahead. I just wanted to ask, I just wanted to ask if we can move the Sus 
um, the sus proposal it's like to the top of new business so that like um because i have two people that need to get off as soon as possible so if we could just move that to the top and then just have the other two following it since i think it's a matter of just quorum and so if so if they have to go they can go and then because since it's the three motions i think we're still going to be there for all three okay that's fine um so i'll take um io's uh amendments to my um you know what i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna retract myself i'm gonna retract this list and i'm gonna list myself again so we just start brand new new amendment um it is to put uh the sus uh sus formal spending motion first the new business then peter's motion and then mine so it'll go sus formal uh, then it'll be referendum questions, then it will be student care in that order, and then the rest of new business will continue on as is uh, in the agenda. I'll move that. Can I get a seconder, please? It'd be finance. It'd be finance seconds. Is there any discussion on this? Seeing none, we'll take this to a vote. We're going to seek unanimous consent on this. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom, and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, this passes. Okay, we I think we're out of lists now uh yep looks like we're out of lists so um we're now going to go back to the main motion and it will now read be it resolved to adopt the agenda as amended um is there any discussion on this any other uh last second amendments seeing none we're going to take those to a vote we're going to seek unanimous consent on this if you wish to dissent please use the raise hand function on zoom and i'll call on you for your vote seeing none this passes Alrighty, we are now on to presentations, and I believe we have a presentation from SUS submitted by IO. So IO or whoever's from SUS, um, if you guys are here and ready, you can let us know. Hi, I am ready. Yeah, I'm just getting started here. Are you? Here? Sounds good. Screen sharing is enabled, so you can start whenever you're ready. Perfect. Okay, sounds good. Um, let me start this first. Awesome. <laughs> Hi, I'm here as well, by the way. Um, my name is Ananga. I'm VP Internal from SUS. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome to Council. I believe it's your first time, yeah? Yeah, first time. Welcome, welcome. All right. Screen share is this button, the green one. Okay, okay. Yes. We got it. Perfect. Okay. There we are. All right. How's this? Looks good. Awesome. Okay. Hello. Um, if you don't know, I'm Jesse. Um, I'm the president of the Science Undergraduate Society. And with me, as you saw, um, is Ananda, our VP internal. Um, thank, thank you for taking the opportunity to hear from us. Um, I am really, really stoked. Like I, I was trying to think of an adjective, but that's it's just stoked. I'm really stoked to um, share this event with you guys. It's something my team and I have worked really hard on, and we're excited to present to you winter formal. I think it says spring formal in that uh, in that motion there, but it is a winter formal since it's happening in February. But winter formal at Van Dusen Botanical Gardens. Cool. This is kind of what I'll be taking you through today, um, just telling you a little bit about Winter Formal, what it's all about. We'll talk a bit about the venue. It's a little bit, it's a little bit creative, a little bit unique. Um, I don't think I've seen it before, so it is something definitely really special. Um, and then I'll talk to you a little bit about safety and accessibility, something we've thought really hard about, um, how we're going to take care of our students at the event. And number four, our very favorite, um, the budget, so the financial part of it all. Okay, so if you don't know what Winter Formal is, this, these photos kind of give you a little gist of it. I think this was from 2017 or 2018, and this was in the Diamond Alumni Center um, up at SFU. Um, we don't really have that space available for us this year, so we did have to change it up a bit. But this is a really, really nice night. So we get a bunch of science students um, dressed up in formal wear, and they're eating, they're doing activities, they have presentations, they're having a good time, a dance floor. It's honestly a time for science students to not wear lab coats <laughs> and dress up and enjoy their time and meet new people. And all in all, it's, it's, it's a great time. 
It's actually a bit of a, an important event. Um, I know with Sus, we have a bunch of traditions. We have frosh, we have winter formal, and then we have pop events here and there. Um, winter formal is our big tradition for second to higher years. Um, and all of these words that you see on the screen here are like key, key aspects of winter formal. So if we were to talk about networking, pretty obvious, you're putting 100 science students in a room, we can definitely get some networking done there. Um, I know all of, all of science, especially with the different majors, they all kind of intertwine with each other. Um, personally, I'm a kinesiology major. I would love to talk to a bio student and get to know more about what they're about, see how it interacts with my major. Um, establishing a sense of community is a really big one as well. So um, especially during the pandemic when we didn't have the opportunity to do stuff like this, um, this semester, we're really, really hitting it home there. So we had a lot of, we had a common room opening. We had a lot of um, smaller events, getting people talking about SUS, establishing the community a bit more. Um, we really want to see it skyrocket from here. So this is another big one to get all the upper years involved. De-stress, that's a pretty big one. I know science students are pretty stressed out, not that other students are, but um, we are definitely. Um, we, I think we set this event for February the 17th, which is right before reading break, which is kind of a really good time to attend an event, de-stress a little bit. You just went through a week of your first midterms, maybe a um, great opportunity for that. Um, pride. This is something I want to talk about. Um, sometimes you're in class and you're just studying and you're just grinding through it. Um, it's hard to feel prideful of what you're learning. Um, when you do go to Winter Formal, we'll be having some trivia events. Um, you'll be able to kind of sh show off your knowledge like that. I think one of our bigger messages is be proud of what you're learning and be proud of all the work that you have done while studying and being an expert in your topic. Um, engagement, big one for us as well. We really want student opinions. We really believe that Every student has something to bring to the table. We're all super unique. We all have great ideas. Um, I just had a few first year reps and personally, every single one of them brings me such amazing ideas. And I truly believe that all science students have that. Um, we would love to get the word out of all of our opportunities, all of our positions. I know we're, my term ends in April of sorts. So definitely we'll want some people running for us too. Um, and in terms of just general student life. Um, if you have more students engaged, it's, it's a nice university experience. And I'm sure as the SFS, as you guys are very, very familiar with that as well. And lastly, um, introductions. I don't know if everyone here is aware, but we do have a new Dean of Science. Um, her name, I believe, is Dr. Angela Brooks Wilson. Um, I have yet to meet her, and I guess she hasn't really met us. I think she spoke at Welcome Day, but don't quote me on that. She has been invited and she has very graciously said yes to speaking to everyone going to Winter Formal. So she'll have a little bit of time to talk when we're all sitting down and eating our dinner. And she'll get to know a bit more about what we're about. And we'll get to know a bit more what she's working with. And hopefully we can use this event to establish a really nice relationship because um, the Dean is really here to support us, and I'm sure she really wants to. I'm sure we can learn a lot more about um, what she has to offer through her presentation. Very excited for that. This is our shape of the day. Very general. We don't have exact um, like 7.45 to 8.45 numbers right on here, um, but we definitely do have that in a separate document. <laughs> um, kind of to paint the shape of the day for you. Doors open at 6 p.m. We'll have some activities, family feud, something I am so excited to share with you guys about. We'll have a promotional table for certain type of events and sponsors that we're currently trying to contact. And the SFSS, if you guys have any pamphlets that you want us to put on the promotional table, more than happy to do so. Trivia, again, like I talked about, we'll have a photo booth and definitely icebreakers. And after a bit of that, we'll have dinner, we'll have the presentations from myself, 
if any of your SFSS members would like to join us there, that would be really cool too. And the Dean of Science, of course. Uh, we'll have a dance floor, dance with someone you've met today. I think, I think that would be something really fun. And 11 p.m. we will end the event. So people can get home at a reasonable time. Um, I know the buses still run around then. I I'd, I'd really don't want to keep anyone later than that. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of Family Feud. I've talked to some people recently and they <laughs> have no idea what it is, but and we had this great idea of asking everyone that's purchasing a ticket to respond to a few Family Feud questions. And then during the actual event, we'll have two groups or four groups, however we want to split it, and they'll play a game of Family Feud. But all of the questions are from the people who have attended. And so it's nice to see what your fellow sciencers <laughs> are thinking when it comes to certain questions. So that I am one of the most excited for. Cool. Um, now I'll hand it over to Ananga, VP Internal. He'll tell you a bit more about Van Dusen, why we chose it, and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, hi everyone. Um, so this year we'll be doing our formal at uh, Van Dusen Botanic Garden. It's a really nice place. Um, uh, the location where it's at, it's a garden that is 55 acres and has almost 8,000 plant species from all over the world. Uh, they're also pretty big on conservation of nature, which really kind of fits with our theme. And the venue itself, it's just uh, a pretty professional setting, which I think is good since we want to make it more of a networking event. So we'll be renting the floral hall there where most of our main stuff will be happening. And also the cedar room, which is just a little uh, smaller room by the floral hall, but it, this is for the catering area. Um, yeah. And then, Jesse, do you want to go to the next slide? Uh, I don't have access to it. Wait. Yeah, so this is a little bit of a picture of there. And um, both is of the floral hall. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty, a very professional setting. Uh, very formal, which I think is good. But uh, some of the decorations below, I, I guess in this photo, it was more for a wedding. Of course, all, ours will look a little bit different. I think Jesse had some starlights and things like that kind of planned for above. But yeah. And a very important topic, so safety and accessibility. Um, we have definitely thought all this for, um, through very thoroughly. So. One thing we want to implement is uh, for people who are going to be driving there, we want to have like a designated driver system. So, so driver, so people who drove there, they will be getting a certain wristband, which will kind of identify, which will help the bartenders and other staff kind of identify them and they won't be allowed to drink. Um, we also have uh, on-site security, which is provided by the venue themselves. Uh, our, the venue overall is very wheelchair um, accessible as well. There are ramps throughout, so as in the slides here. And for transportation, it's really nice because the number 10 bus and number 17 bus is like right there. So those will just pretty much take you to any sky train you want, the Millennium Line, Expo Line, or the Canada Line, whatnot. Um, and yeah, lastly, we also uh, made the event a little bit cheaper this year. Uh, the ticket is just $30 per person, which I think is definitely a good thing. This will make it more open to everyone and more affordable. And yeah, I think that's my bit. I think Jesse will take over. Yes, thank you so much. We will move on shortly from safety and accessibility to the budget, as we've all been waiting for. Um, I. I really tried my best. I am awful with graph making. So I really hope this graph makes sense to you all. But on the left would be um, the amount of money that we have access to. And on the right would be everything that we are spending it on. <laughs> so um, as you can see, we are asking for $10,000 from you guys, which seems like a lot, but hear me out. We really want to make this a really successful event. And we, as we're working on Winter Formal, have been realizing that we can slowly cut down on some costs. Um, I'll get into that just a little bit later, but 
just to take you through whatever this chart looks like. <laughs> I'm really sorry it's so messy, but um, Van Dusen only charges us um, over a thousand. And I know that it's a really gorgeous place. Um, we have to put in some decorations just to liven it up a little. Um, that's only on the inside. When you look out into the garden, it's still as gorgeous as ever. Um, and then we have food costs, we have bartender costs, some prizes and promotion. Um, the promotion really is there to make sure that we really nail this event. We really want everyone engaged. We want to get the outreach as large as we can, truly, truly. Um, activities, we have a little, we, we have a few activities that we're trying to do. Um, they are, we, they are DIY, so we don't need too, too much as we have learned from the past that Party Works or um, other party companies, they, they charge a lot and we really don't want to spend the money on that because if we can do it ourselves and we can do it better, definitely it's a win-win. Um, there are a bunch of extra fees, but they're not too extensive. They kind of just all pile up on one another. I know SoCan is one of them that um, definitely adds to the cost there. We have a photographer, contingency, and emergency transportation. Um, this I'm, is a number that I'm hoping we don't have to use, but in the event that someone isn't able to transit home safely, um, I do want to make sure that everyone does get home safe. Everyone doesn't ever leave a venue or an SFU event, or especially a SLAS and SFSS event, um, feeling like they don't have a safe way home. So um, in the event that we do need to help support them in a way, this is our way to do so. Yeah. Um, in terms of what we are trying to do to lessen the cost of this event, um, I actually have a list, it's, it's quite extensive. Um, we are partnering, partnering, we are partnering with Bounce Life. Um, I don't know if you heard, have heard of Bounce Life before, but they are um, an event site similar to Eventbrite, but they, if we partner with them, they can throw in a free photographer for us or a DJ at a discounted price, which is really cool of them. And we are, we have enjoyed using their platform in the past and we'll probably use it this year as well. Um, I don't know if you've heard of the NNECT, but we are also thinking of partnering with them as well. They help reduce our costs with food for this a similar for, for a similar me, a menu but with a lower price range. Um, it's, it's hard to explain, but they have worked the SFSS before and they're a bit of a middle person in helping us get the discounts that we can offer. Um, I've talked about DIYing our activities. We are doing, in the process of doing that. Um, our VP admin has been great on trying to come up with quirky little ways to make sure we get the activities that we want. We are also fundraising for um, with Krispy Kreme donuts just to make sure we're not using too much of the SFSS money. Um, we're definitely using our core and our ticket sales and trying to fundraise to cover winter formal to the best that we can um, to make sure that we are really putting whatever we can into making this event work. Mm -hmm. um, again, with whatever we don't use, it does go back to the SFSS. And yeah, that marks the end of the presentation. Um, this is, like I mentioned, definitely one of the events that we're extremely proud of. Our execs, our first reps have been working really hard on it and we are really, really excited to see it happen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. Um, all right, so very briefly, if anyone has any questions specifically around the presentation, not around the monetary amounts, that will come during the motion, but anything else surrounding um, this event, please feel free to list now. Roscoe, you're listed. Hi, yes. So uh, thank you for the very nice presentation. I really like that sand key graph you put there. Uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, this has my full support. Uh, I hope the rest of council votes on it. We need more uh, student, student-led events. So nice presentation you have there. Thank you, Roscoe. Jesse, if you want to respond, you can, but it sounds like it's just praise. It's just a thank you. That means, that honestly means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Awesome. Anyone else have any questions or comments? 
I am not seeing any at the moment. So thank you very much. Um, we'll let you guys know how it goes. Or I guess I will let you know how it goes. Beautiful, thank you. Sweet, sweet. Okay, um, we are now gonna be moving on to um, reports from committees. Um, first is executive committee reports. Just give me one second, I'll start sharing. All right, can everyone see my screen? We can see your screen and your calendar. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, hold on. I'm glad there wasn't something else up there. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, let's see here. Share screen. We want to do, I thought I picked screen two. So how, why did it? Okay, let's just do the tab. Okay, can you still see my calendar? Sadly not. He said sadly not, okay, cool. Um, let's make sure this is working. Okay, so why, oh my God, okay, hold on. This thing's just being annoying. You want to go slideshow? There we go. That's better. So we're gonna share screen. I go specifically that one. And there we go. And now I can go back and forth. Beautiful. Okay. Or not. Okay. Whatever. Um, all right, execs. I'm gonna keep you. Try to keep you to two minutes. Um, and then, yeah. I'll cut you off if we go over two minutes, just so we can keep everything kind of going in a timely manner. So I'm just going to pull up a timer and make sure I hold myself to that same uh, standard. Give me one second. There we go. All right. So I'll start. Um, so it's been a busy couple of weeks for me. Uh, I included kind of what I thought would be the most relevant to council. There's been a ton of other stuff and stuff sometimes gets blurred lines between different roles of like being a student center and a board of governor and SFS exec. Sometimes there's things that kind of uh, blurred lines each other, like a meeting with SFU might start off as like a something relevant to the board of governor position, but then it might end up being relevant to SFSS. So I tried to kind of maneuver that with my report as well. So it was so far the, during these two weeks we've had club stays tabling. Um, admin work has certainly made up the majority of uh, my time when I'm here late at night. It's uh, emails, minutes approval, all that, signing checks. Um, also really want to thank Trish for a couple meetings she's had with me regarding certain topics. Uh, they've been very helpful uh, in my work. Um, we've also had some meetings with SFU with their Student Rights and Responsibilities Office and with uh, Tracy, um, who's been very, very helpful as well. Um, which has also led us into setting up our agenda for SOG, which will be taking place tomorrow. Um, we've also had some discussions with SFU about an MOU. You may have seen um, them uh, publishing something about that. Um, I want to be one thing I guess I should clarify is that um, before any sort of MOU is signed, um, staff and um, CGs and other relevant groups will have an opportunity for consultation and stuff first. And if uh, things don't work for the SFSS and for these groups, uh, we won't be going forward with it. Um, also, I mean, with V and Blueprint, uh, attended Fast Frenzy. I got an absolutely nasty little um, scrape on my elbow, which has been healing up from the Bouncy Castle because someone had to really sweaty try hard while they were trying to go to the obstacle course. But um, that's okay. Uh, I won a different game, so that's what matters. Uh, myself and V also did an interview with CJSF. Um, myself, Peter, and Roscoe met with eSports, uh, went to the governance committee meeting at Spock, and that's two minutes. All right, next we have the acting VP in general. You have two minutes. Hello, everybody. So most of the work I've been doing has related to the spring. Abby, might want to mute here. Has been spring referendum 2023 questions. So the first part was 
for the, the last previous meeting. We were working on those as well, making sure to clean them up, kind of organize them as you were aware. But then it was brought to the um, my attention by staff that it was kind of complicated and we've had kind of issues with, especially when we saw the president reading it. So I brought it back to the governance committee. We went over it and I'm gonna be resubmitting it again, just reworking kind of the structure. Um, last week there was um, just going over the emergency response plan again, not, not like a big escalation, but you know, looking at new things. There's been um, physical copies of it around, making sure it's aware. Hopefully we can um, also look to like, just letting um, executives or different student union groups and constituents groups just kind of like maybe getting familiar with the rules just as well in case there ever is an emergency, I'm not saying there is. I've been working on my uh, Spock items, hopefully um, some space changes around here, but I've been kind of preoccupied with other stuff, but I hope I can um, get them through. We've had, so in the governance committee, we had the referendum questions. We also worked for something from the Joint Health and Safety Commission, just regarding a policy change. We just had a discussion item on that. Other than that, I've been meeting with the Sexual Violence Support and Prevention Office, going over some things, a possibly new MOU. We also discussed the new, um, just as Abby's mentioned with Rasco and Abby, we went to the, uh, we're discussing with the esports group about the new gaming room. Hopefully that'll be set up before I'm out of here. It looks really nice and I hope we get that set up. Um, I've done a couple events as well, going to the club days, going to the, uh, Fast Frenzy. I didn't bounce on the Bouncy Castle. I was uh, a little too tired, but it looked a lot of fun. And then playing zombies with the president. He's not good. He gets down a lot. He somehow reached yeah. round 10, but like, that's kind of surprising choosing how he plays. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for that subtle jab, uh, Peter. Um, next, we have uh, the acting VP Finance and Services. You have two minutes whenever you're ready. Hi, uh, so I'll try to be quick. Uh, so first, uh, I was working um, with staff with the signing authority switchover, uh, check rec approvals, uh, some payroll issues we've been having, been troubleshooting that. Uh, another thing I've been working on is uh, interact e-transfer reimbursements. Uh, so I hope to pro be able to provide more updates on that next council meeting. Uh, regarding that, um, gaming lounge project, as Abby and Peter uh, mentioned, we met with us a few esports association, met with the building manager. That's coming along very well. Hopefully, hopefully very soon it's open. So all the equipment is there. Um, I chaired the first space oversight committee meeting of 2023. Uh, financial transparency research, that's kind of related to the motion I'm going to promote proposing, uh, did some preliminary work on next year's budget, met with technology vendors to discuss paperless finance solutions. That's more of a long-term planning thing. Also kind of ties in with a novel uh, project I'm working on. Um, it's a prepaid trust account uh, credit cards so that um, groups uh, will be able to use their trust account on uh, set uh, credit card um that's a long ways coming but i'm laying the groundwork on that uh, met with clubs and student unions regarding grants uh, work with sqdna on some minor letter of agreement changes that's being proposed this council meeting met with trish regarding the accessibility shell proposal uh thank you trish for uh, writing that whole proposal that's going to be proposed at uh, next exec to talk more to the university. Uh, health and dental programming. So I did meet with student care. Some students had some issues with the plan and I- Sorry, Roscoe, I gotta cut you off there. Okay, all right. Thank you. Um, all right, Chloe, unfortunately didn't get access to this PowerPoint, but Chloe, if you wanna do any sort of verbal update just for a minute or so, um, you can feel free to, or we can move on either way is fine. Hello, everybody. I basically just did all of my onboarding this week. Um, I met with the board organizer and deleted about a bajillion things off of the Google Calendar that I got access to and then <laughs> replaced them with all my own stuff. So it's just been a lot of like office ongoings this week. So like setting up to fit into the role better. Sorry, I didn't have a PowerPoint ready. It's been a very busy week. All good, Chloe. Thank you. Um, next, we have Ishana. You got two minutes whenever you're ready. Thank you. Yeah. So 
Over the past two weeks, I've done SFS's clubs days, both Burnaby and Surrey, um, attended the Fast Frenzy, shout out to SAS, they did a great job, um, tabling for Lunar New Year with the SFS's events committee and vibe of, um, a lot of federal lobby days planning, I'm happy to provide updates very soon, but that is getting underway, a lot of meetings are getting confirmed. Um, I did an interview with Sungyun for CJSF um, because elections are coming up, um, had a external and community affairs committee meeting and it went super well we're all in person now um we got a lot of action items done i'm really really excited for what's going to go on in eca now um uh, food security organizing um staff and i are going to do some long working sessions now getting all of that done since we have donations um, I attended Soka's Catch Up Vibes event. It was great. Um, I'm also working on a financial award for Indigenous students and international students. So now I'm starting consultations. I've passed money for them. Um, and those consultations will be like during these two months now. Um, and I did tabling with Abby Sungyun and Rasko for Meet the Incumbents um, because elections are right around the corner. So yeah, those are my two weeks. Ah, thank you, Ishana. Um, next, we have Sanyan, whenever you're ready. Yeah, so Ishana already mentioned, but since the new election is coming up, there was an opportunity to have an interview with CGSF. I'd like to encourage participations and introduce about executive positions, such as like what would be the important skills or experience. And I had a meeting with SFU Soka for hosting movie nights on February. I think it's gonna be on like ballroom or like conference room. So please like have a look. And there is a weekly meeting with HL Jewish Student Association members and plan for 2023 events. And I'm having an interview for selecting new accessibility committee representatives. And also I'm planning on events for a run for students mental health with BP events we both. And I attended a meeting, uh, oh, not a meeting, <laughs> meeting Kimba's tabling with IEC members. And yeah, if anyone has a questions, just please stop by our tabling. It's near to NBC tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. and also Friday at the same time. And lastly, I'm doing research for issue policy about AI. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Sonia. Um... Last but not least, we have V. Thanks, Abby. Uh, so basically, I uh, went for uh, an interview with CGSF, telling about what these positions are, uh, what the execs like really do, and uh, um, how can kind of like you know they contribute towards the university. Other than that, uh, Holi is coming up one of the biggest events for the year. Um, almost uh, finalized. Now the details will be coming out soon. Um, I will share the details once like I have um, something finalized uh, uh, in this week or two. Uh, then there's a Valentine's pub night uh, being planned uh, coming up on 12th of February. Um, uh, on 14th, on the same week, I'm having another event with uh, SFU Ancillary. Um, that's going to be called Spirit Day. The intention behind this is to keep this as a semesterly event. Though, so this is basically going to be uh, like people are going to come up wearing SFU merchandise or SFSS merchandise. And that's going to be like, show your love towards SFU. Uh, and that's on Valentine's Day. So, you know, it resembles the kind of like uh, the whole theme as well. And uh, and there's going to be like some music behind it. So people can come and just like dance as well, like in the convocation mall. Uh, run for even uh, like being planned with VP equity, as Sangyan mentioned. Uh, blood drive is coming in February. Um, blood drive, please um, feel free to donate blood like you know if you this is like a really good cause and this is going to be uh, in collaboration with this um, blood organization um, then uh, SFSS uh, X Soka movie night for black history month celebration is being planned working on clubs guidelines and uh, there's a motion on this today as well so and uh, clubs issues are coming all the time so there's like you know some clubs um and that kind of like brings on their problems or, or sometimes like you know we are deep having some problems so we deal with that all the time essc is next tuesday and uh organized and attended club stays in burnaby and Surrey. so that was pretty much it uh, thank you right on time v five seconds to spare all right
I'm gonna stop sharing, we'll exit that. Perfect. All right, next on the agenda, we have the CCBC report. Um, and what I'll say so far is um, uh, CCBC uh, um, has made progress. All right, next uh, on the agenda. Sorry, I've lost my agenda. There it is. Um, next on our agenda, I believe, is new business. So that would mean the um, Science Undergraduate Society uh, Spring, but should be called Winter Formal 2023, submitted by IL. And uh, the motion reads as follows. Whereas the Science Undergraduate Society is a faculty student union in the, in the SFSS, whereas they're hosting a spring formal event for students in the Faculty of Science, whereas they're requesting $10,000 to support their event, whereas they will, need to, they will need financial support above what staff and admin can approve, whereas they will submit a grant to staff, whereas they have presented to council and provided a proposal, be it resolved that council approve X spending up to, sorry, up to dollars amount X from line item 5000G to go towards supporting their event. Can we get a mover, please? VP Finance. VP Finance moves. Can we get a seconder? I'll second. Sus makes sense. Uh, makes sense. Sorry, excuse me. Slip of the tongue. Um, is there any discussion on this? Seeing none, um, we do actually need to uh, amend this at some point here because it's X dollars, and I don't think we can give them a blank check. But seeing that there's... Oh, Roscoe, go ahead. Oh, sorry, I'll retract. I was just going to mention. Okay. Um, so I guess seeing that there isn't really any dissent and everyone seems to be in favor of it, I'm going to list myself. And um, I'm going to move to amend this motion to re remove uh, dollars $X and replace it with uh, $10,000. Um, I'll move that. Can I get a seconder, please? AP Finance. AP Finance seconds. Is there any discussion on this? Oh, actually, you know what? That's a good point. Um, I'm going to amend my amendment really quick. Actually, you know what? You know what? I'm going to retract my motion. I'm going to list myself because I hate doing amendments to the amendment. I'm just going to do this cleanly. So I'm going to retract my motion. I'm going to list again. I'm going to move to amend. Uh, this motion to change the title to spring. Um, so, holy cow, excuse me. Science Undergraduate Society Winter Formal 2023. So first we're going to move to change the title. And so it looks like this. I'm sorry, this formatting is going to come out weird. Oh my gosh, that's very weird looking, but that, that will be the title. Um, and then replace dollar $X with 10000 So I'll move that. Can I get a seconder, please? AP Finance. AP Finance, once again, thank you. Uh, is there any discussion on this? Name change just because it is technically still winter, and that's the actual name of the event, and then $10,000 because you can't just give them a blank check, unfortunately. Seeing none, we'll take this to a vote. We're going to seek unanimous consent on this. Seek unanimous consent. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom, and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, that amendment passes. We're back to the main motion. And is there any discussion on the main motion itself? Seeing not, we're going to take this to a vote. We're going to seek unanimous consent on this. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom, and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing anything, so that passes. Congratulations to us. Hope you hold a very fun event, and maybe we'll be there. Cool. All right. Um, next, we have um, the motion uh, regarding the referenda. Peter, if you wouldn't mind, copy, thank you. Already on it. Beautiful. Um, so the motion is titled Resubmission of 2023, um, sp Spring 2023 Referendum Questions. And it reads as follows. Whereas the Spring Referendum 2023 questions submitted at the January 11th Council meeting have been found to be complicated to navigate, where it has been recommended by the staff to reorganize the questions, including definitions and a friendlier language, be it resolved to adopt the document um, titled Draft Referendum for the Ballot as the new and revised version of the previously approved Spring Referendum 2023 questions. 
Be it further resolved that the acting vice president internal and organizational development submit this document to the independent electoral independent elections commission as a replacement for the previous spring 2023 referendum questions. And Peter has thrown that PDF um, into the chat. Uh, so Peter, would you like to move this motion? Yeah, I'll move it. Peter moves. Can we get a seconder? VP Finance. You can find it seconds. Uh, is there any discussion around this? Peter, please go ahead. So just previously stated by the uh, email I sent out on Monday and stuff, it's all the policy. I made sure to go over it. And then I, it's, that's why I sent it out on Monday as well, just so it's truly transparent, is that none of the policy or anything has changed from the one that was submitted at the previous January 11th council meeting. It's all there. It's all the same. But as if, you, if you've looked over it, it has definitions. It has kind of, it lets them know, it lets the uh, students know where it is. It kind of just makes it easier for just any student to kind of go over it, especially organizing structure. Because when Abby was reading out the list, it was a, it, it is kind of a nightmare to go over. So it's trying to make it easier for students, especially. And it also gives background as well. Hopefully this, um, so some of the parts of it can be submitted online beforehand. And some of these can be, um, and then obviously the new restructured format will be in the referendum questions and make it easier for students. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. My list is simply to say thank you for not being, making me read that all out loud again. I think it took us a good seven minutes or something like that last time. So um, glad Dot's apt to do that again. Um, anyone else have any comments they want to make on this? I am not seeing any. So um, we're going to take this to a vote. We're going to seek unanimous consent on this. Seeking unanimous consent. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, this passes. Alrighty. Thank you, everyone. We're going to move on to the next new business item, which is titled Endorsement of Health and Dental Spring Referenda. And the motion is here. And it reads as follows. Whereas SFS has health and dental plan, uh, oh, sorry, no. Whereas council has been notified to the status of the, of the student health and dental plan, whereas maintaining services is a priority for the SFSS, whereas communicating uh, all available information to the membership for the referenda would increase voter turnout and offer direction to the SFSS as to how to proceed with the health and dental plan, whereas councils previously endorsed referendums such as on January 19, 2022 and October 26, 2022, be resolved that council endorses the health and dental referendum which reads as follows. Whereas the SFSS health and dental plan was launched in 2008 with no mechanism for the plan benefits to keep pace with the rising costs of health and dental services except via referendum, whereas the SFSS health and dental plan is one of the most utilized services by the SFSS membership and has seen significant increases in claims year over year, whereas students have expressed interest in additional mental health support and the proposed fee adjustment allows for the SFSS to expand mental health uh, service offerings, whereas students will retain the option to choose a lower um, level of coverage at a lower cost basic plan or opt out completely if they have equivalent alternate coverage, whereas the SFSS has already exhausted other avenues to manage plan costs without cutting benefits, knowing that you can opt out completely with alternative coverage or reduce your coverage for a lower cost, you consent to raise the SFSS health and dental fees by $31.92 for the policy year starting September 1st, 2023, and authorize SFSS council to adjust the plan fee by up by by up to 5% annually only when needed starting September 2024 to account for inflationary impacts on health and dental services. Note if passed, the health and dental plan fees for September 1st, 2023 would change as follows. Enhanced plan from $267.08 to $299 per year and basic plan from $207.40 to $239.32 per year. That's a mouthful, but it's in the chat and it's now been read out loud. Um, I'll move that. Can we get a seconder, please? Finance. Finance seconds. Is there any discussion on this? There is one thing. Oh, I lost myself. There is one thing I want to add to this. Um, I'm just going to ask, um, Peter, if you wouldn't mind just copying the last be it resolved clause of your motion, I wanted to adjust that a bit and just add it on to the end of this one as a further be it, be it further resolved clause, if you wouldn't mind. I just can't copy anything out of the chat. Or if you can just send it to me over at Google Messenger or whatever the heck. 
just because I can't access it at all. Yeah, there you go. You might have to just cut out the last part. Yeah, so um, so what I want to do is I'm going to add a be it further resolved clause um, that the acting president will submit this referenda to the independent elections commission for the spring 2023 referenda. Sorry, be it further resolved. There we are. Uh, I'll move that amendment. Can we get a seconder, please? Finance. Finance seconds. Um, just to explain, oh, just to explain this, this is just to make sure it gets submitted, or if it doesn't get submitted, it's my fault. So there'll be someone to blame. All right. Uh, is there any further discussion on this? Seeing none, we'll take this amendment to a vote. We're going to seek unanimous consent on this. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, that passes. And I'll move on to the amended motion. Um, is there any other discussion on the amended motion? Seeing none, we'll take this to a vote. We're going to seek unanimous consent on this. Seeking unanimous consent. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, that passes. All right, thank you, everyone. We've adopted the student care referenda and hopefully, it passes this time. All right, I believe we're back onto new business now on the agenda. And I believe we have first year engagement committee elections. This was submitted by our philosophy counselor, Ashley Flett. Um, and the motion reads as follows. Whereas there are vacancies on first year engagement committee for two council members, whereas the composition of first year engagement committee states that up to one other counselor on the recommendation of council, first year preferred should sit on the committee, um, be it resolved to elect Councillor A and First Year Councillor B to serve on First Year Engagement Committee for the remainder of the 2022-2023 Council year. Uh, can we get a mover, please? Philosophy. Philosophy moves. Can we get a seconder? PP equity. PP equity seconds. Uh, Ashley, you've listed and you are the mover of the motion, so you do have priority. Yeah, I just wanted to um, let everybody know that I am the chair of the First Year Engagement Committee. We are currently seeking two spots, uh, one of which, as it says in the motion, would be very much preferred if it was a first year identified student. Um, so somebody who has been at SFU as an undergraduate student for within their first year. Um, it's a really fun committee. Hopefully we can get it um, rolling on a more regular basis. Uh, there's currently no meeting time or anything like that. So just We'll figure out everybody's availabilities uh, once these seats have been filled. Um, I strongly encourage you to um, nominate yourself for this position. Thank you, Ashley. Um, all right, so this is going to work like all our other committee elections have worked. Um, I'm going to have three calls for nominations. Um, you can nominate yourself or someone else. If you nominate someone else, we will have to seek their consent to um, uh, run in this election, and you must be physically present um, in this meeting. And by physically present, I mean like you must be in the Zoom room in order to be nominated. Um, all right, first call for nominations. Oh, actually, before we begin, uh, Ishana asked a question. Actually, I don't know if you want to answer it. Uh, Ishana asked, how often will meetings be? Yeah, I can respond to that. It, uh, it, it, it entirely depends on people's availabilities. Um, ideally, I'm thinking once a month. Monthly. So if someone on council doesn't necessarily have um, a lot of availability and doesn't have a committee yet, I highly recommend this one here as it's a good way to learn and it's just uh, sounds like a fairly chill community. Um, all right, first call for nominations. If you'd like to nominate yourself or someone else, please type list in the chat. Apologies. Uh, Ashley, you have a list? Yeah, I would like to nominate I cannot say that word right now. The SOCA counselor, Amina Hassan. Amina, would you like to accept this nomination? You accept. Yay. Awesome. All right. Um, second call for nominations.
third and final call for nominations, there is still one spot open. Anyone who doesn't have a committee, this is about as low barrier as it's going to get once a month and a fairly um, easygoing chair. This is the time to take the opportunity. Going once, going twice. All right. Don't think we have anyone else who's going to nominate themselves. So um, I'm going to list myself. And I'm going to move to amend um, the last be it resolved or the sorry the be it resolved clause and replace counselor A and B um, with. Oh my gosh, that tastes so ugly. My God. Um, so I'm just going to type the amendment then. Uh, be so I'm going to keep the clause. It's now going to be resolved to elect um, Soka counselor um, Amina Hassan. Um, to serve on first year engagement for the remainder of the 2022-2023 council year. So, let me just make sure I get that spelling right. There you go. That's what's going to change. Uh, I'll move that amendment. Can we get a seconder, please? Philosophy. Philosophy seconds. Um, is there any discussion on this? We're just, no one else wanted to run, so we have to amend the name on. Nope, okay, seeing none, we're gonna take this to a vote, seeing so unanimous consent. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, that amendment passes. And now the amended motion. Um, I'm gonna seek unanimous consent on this. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, this passes. All right, congratulations, Amina. You are now on first year engagement committee. All right. Um, next is the equity and sustainability uh, committee election. I'm going to ask it for five minutes, um, my vice chair, if you can take over if you're okay with that. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, all right, everyone. Uh, so is there any lists on uh, this motion? Um, actually, I'm going to pull up the agenda real quick. Give me a second, everybody. Feel free to list if you have a list. We're on equity and sustainability um, election at the moment. Yes. In fact, I'm going to list myself uh, and ask if the VP Equity uh, would like to speak on this committee. Uh, you know, when it meets, what it's going to be happening, how uh, often it's going to occur, stuff like that. Uh, go ahead, Sangyun. Yeah, so currently we're having a meeting on, ev not every Thursday, bi-weekly on Thursday, 3.30 to 4.30. And... Yeah, I think this week is the first meeting, and if anyone is interested in like social justice and equity issue, like such as um, disability justice, anti-racism, climate justice, or sustainability issues, this is the place. And currently, we just have Ashley and me, and yeah, I think that's it. So if anyone is interested in it, just please join. Oh, Ishana, yeah, Ishana too. Thank you very much, Sana. Yes, Ashana is also in this committee. I believe um, also there is designated seats for the various constituency groups, um, unless I'm very mistaken on this. Uh, so I found the motion now. Uh, I will read it aloud. Uh, Equity and Sustainability Committee election uh, was submitted by myself. Uh, whereas there are vacancies on ESC for three council members, be it resolved to elect Councillor A, B, and C to serve on ESC for the remainder of the 2022-2023 uh, council year. Um, this will be, is there any questions? Feel free to listen in the chat. Um, otherwise, this will be the first call for nominations. I do see, actually, first off, uh, Chloe's question, am I allowed to come to the meetings? Uh, absolutely, uh, especially if you run for one of the positions. Um, Ashana, go ahead. Did we get a mover and seconder for the motion? We did not. Thank you very much. Uh, I will move this. Can I get a seconder, please? 
VP external. Thank you, Ashana. Uh, so this will be the first call for nominations. Uh, if you would like to nominate yourself or somebody else, please feel free to list in the chat. Uh, Arthur. I would like to move to nominate Chloe to the committee. All right, Chloe, do you accept this nomination? All right, Chloe does accept this nomination. Uh, is there any other nominations? Uh, this will be the second call for nominations. It's a very fun committee, if I do say so myself. Uh, this will be the third and final call for nominations. There's still two spots left. Uh, I will remind you that we meet on Thursdays in the afternoon. Uh, I'm not seeing any other lists. Um, so that will be uh, the end of the call for nominations. What two daisies? Uh, I'm going to list myself in chat. Uh, and I'm going to move to amend this motion to replace counselors A, B, and C uh, with VP University and Academic Affairs, Chloe, Chloe Aronson. Uh, if someone could type that in chat, that would be just lovely for accessibility needs. Uh, can I get a seconder, please? Sasu, second. Thank you, Sasu. Uh, I'm gonna seek unanimous consent on this amendment. Uh, if you'd like to dissent, please use the raise hand feature in Zoom. Uh, seeing none, this uh, motion is amended, uh, just simply changing the be it resolved clause to read as Chloe. Um, I'm now going to uh, seek to pass this motion as amended. Uh, if you would like to dissent, please use the raise hand feature in Zoom. Seeing no dissent, uh, this passes. Congratulations, Chloe, on joining the Equity and Sustainability Committee. Uh, seeing that the president is back in the room, I'd like to ask if you would like to take over as chair. Sure. Thank you, Ashley. Of course. Cool. All right. We're now moving on to the BIPOC committee election. This was submitted by our vice chair, Ashley Flett, and it reads as follows. Whereas there are vacancies on BIPOC for four uh, council members, be it resolved to elect councillors A, B, C, and D to serve on BIPOC for the remainder of the 2022-2023 council year. Can we get a mover, please? BP external. External moves, can we get a seconder? BP equity. BP equity seconds. Um, all right, so did anyone want to talk about the BIPOC committee at all? Perhaps the chair, just a quick spiel. So I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, so currently we haven't decided the time, mm -hmm. but I guess it's going to be on Wednesday or Friday. And BIPOC itself is Black Indigenous People of Color Committee. So it's slightly different from the Equity and Sustainability Committee. It's more about like anti-racism and yeah, I think that's the old descriptions. Awesome. Thank you, Sangyan. Um, all right, so we're going to do three sets of nominations. Again, just list yourself in the chat. If you don't have a committee, please, please, please sign up for one. Or if you're interested in working on the BIPOC committee, so we'll go uh, first round of nominations. You can list to nominate yourself or someone else. Second round of nominations. Third and final call for nominations. I need like four people, guys. Come on, can we at least get like one or two, please? If you really, really just want to try it, like, and you don't like it, you can always resign from it. So, um, Sienna, go ahead. I just wanted to check. I know, I, I think I know that, like, as the FNMISA counselor, I'm just by default on BIPOC. I just wanted to clarify if that's correct. I'm not sure about, oh, yes. Okay, Peter answered. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, Peter. Peter, go ahead. Sorry, when is the uh, when are the meetings, or has it not been decided yet? Uh, Sangyan, I think you mentioned that, yeah. Oh yeah, we haven't decided, but we can do maybe on Monday or Wednesday or Friday. Okay, I'll nominate myself. Peter nominates himself. 
Thank you, Peter. Um, was there anyone else who was interested? And sung in question in the chat, would it be biweekly? Yes. All right, we have Peter nominated. Is there anyone else third and final call interested in joining BIPOC? You shall not answer your questions. You probably will eventually um, because we only have one person. Okay, cool, cool. We can maybe try bringing these back uh, next week as well. Um, so if there's anyone interested in this committee right now, just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, okay. So for now, um, we're going to move to amend um, move to amend uh, the be resolved clause to replace elect counselor A, B, C, and D to serve on BIPOC for the rest of the year to uh, elect uh, acting VP internal and organizational development, uh, Peter Hans. So I'll just put that in the chat. It's properly, sorry. I'm going to list and move that. There we are. Um, I'll move that. Can we need a seconder, please? VP external. VP external seconds. Is there any discussion on this? Seeing none, we'll take this to a vote. We're seeking unanimous consent. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing on the passes. And now we're going to move on to the amended motion. Um, I'm going to seek unanimous consent on this. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, that passes. All right. On to what I believe is our last, oh, second to last election of the day. Um, it is the OCEO. Um, this was submitted by philosophy counselor Ashley Flett, and it reads as follows. Whereas there are vacancies in OCEO for four non-executive council members, be it resolved to elect non-executive councillors A, B, C, and D to serve on OCEO for the remainder of the 2022-2023 council year. Um, can I get a mover, please? Philosophy. Philosophy moves. Can I get a seconder? Political uh, science. Finance. Political science seconds. Um, Ashley, as the mover, you have speaker priority. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi. So this is the uh, Oversight of Executive Officers Committee, as was mentioned in the title. Uh, this committee uh, currently does not have a meeting time, although traditionally it has been held on Thursday nights. Um, however, we will, of course, seek availability, uh, as I believe there is, what is it, four? There's four positions for non-executive counselors. Uh, this is a important committee. Uh, we look over work reports and semester reports uh, and the daily proceedings of executive officers to ensure that um, no mis not no mistakes, but that nothing bad is happening uh, and just approving things. It's fairly bureaucratic in nature, um, but overall, like, it's going to be a really simple committee uh, if you need to sit on a committee or if you think it's an important thing to do. Um, I'm the chair and our vice chair, uh, the Cognitive Science Counselor, is lovely. So I highly recommend joining this committee. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I would encourage you to join this committee. Thank you, Ashley. Roscoe, you're next on the list. Uh, yeah, I just want to speak more in regards to this committee. Um, as I've sat on this committee uh, before, and I think internally, vice and council it is one of the more important uh co committees as it's used to hold the executive committee accountable uh to council and the society um something i recommend uh uh for all of council to um regularly you know stay up to date is watch the watch the oco uh videos on YouTube to see a preview of what uh, what kind of things were discussed. Well, they discuss. I used to be on the committee. Sorry, I used to be. Um, it's mostly work reports, uh, but occasionally there's other you know concerns. Uh, so uh, just to whoever ends up uh, you know getting on this committee, uh, make sure to treat it treat it more seriously. Uh, 
but then you may treat some other committees. Uh, so yeah. There we are. Sorry, my mouse disappeared. Um, Ashley, a direct response. Yeah, I just wanted to absolutely amplify everything Roscoe said there. Um, this is a serious committee. Um, you know, we'll try our best not to have it be a stressful committee, but uh, it, it is absolutely everything that Roscoe said. Um, yeah. Thank you, Roscoe. Thank you, Ashley. That being said, please do run. Uh, we do need these seats filled, even if you already have a committee at this point. Like this, seeing the turnout to the previous couple uh, committees, I think really, really um, need some uh, counselors to step up here and uh, join this committee. So, with that being said, um, I'd like to do first call for nominations, please. Uh, Arthur, sorry, I think you DM me, but I'll count that. Go ahead, Arthur. Sorry, uh, I like to nominate myself. Arthur would like to nominate himself. Awesome. Uh, still first call for nominations if anyone else wants to nominate themselves. Moving on to second call for nominations. Third and final call for nominations. Uh, Emilio, go ahead. I'd like to nominate myself for this committee. Emilio nominates themselves. Perfect. Uh, is there anyone else interested? We'll give it a going once. Third and final call going once. Going twice. Roscoe, go ahead. I would like to nominate Mark and Hillary onto this committee. Okay. Uh, Mark Giles and Hillary Sui, um, are either of you interested in accepting that nomination? No, for Mark. Hillary, is Hillary even here? Is. Hi, Hillary. Are you interested in joining OCEL? Nope. Okay. All good. No obligation. You guys both already have a number of committees, so you're good. Um, is there anyone else interested? I'm going to give it final, final, final call. Definitely third call and final call. Don't have a committee, you know, good time to pick one up. Um, actually, no, before we, I'll be list myself really quick. I'm not nominating myself to be clear, but uh, just to check, Ashley, is two more counselors enough for you guys to hit quorum now? I think it is, yeah. I believe so. I'd have to double check. Um, but two is certainly better than none, I can tell you that much. That's for sure. Okay. Third and final, final call. If you haven't noticed, I'm really insisting if one more person wants to join, that'd be spectacular. If not, if not, but anyone else is interested? That's it. Um, all right, so I'm not seeing anyone else, so we're gonna move to amend that motion. Um, we're going to move to amend uh, non-executive counselors A, B, C, and D and replace them with um, Arthur Lee with um, sociology and anthropology counselor. Oh, gosh, the spelling of both those words. Anthropology. Counselor Early and Gasu, Counselor Emilio da Silva. So I'll move that amendment. Can we get a seconder, please? Philosophy. Philosophy seconds. Is there any discussion on the amendment? Seeing none, we'll take this to a vote. We're going to seek unanimous consent on this. Seek unanimous consent. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, this passes. Um, we're now going to move on to the amended motion. Um, we're going to take this to a vote as well. Seeking unanimous consent. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. 
seeing none, that passes. All right, we're going to be moving on to the next item. But before we do, I do want to share a trigger warning. Um, let me sure I get the exact wording right. Uh, I want to provide a trigger warning regarding um, sexualized and gender-based violence. Um, so if that's a triggering subject for you, hold on, let me put that in the chat as well, just in case someone doesn't have their volume on. So if you need to take some time, um, I'll put in the chat again when um, we're past this section. But um, if you need to step out of the room or you need to leave the meeting or anything like that, that's totally cool, understandable. Um, and I'll uh, put a message in the Zoom chat when we're good to come back and I'll verbally say when we're okay and past this. And I'll give everyone just 15, 20 seconds to do so. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to read aloud this motion. Um, the motion is titled Signing on to Open Letter Urgent Call for Action and Sexualized and Gender Based Violence in Post Secondary Education, shared by the Alliance of BC Students. And this was submitted by our BP External. Um, and it reads as follows Whereas students face sexualized and gender based violence and are unsafe in post secondary, whereas uh, for years students have been advocating for funding uh, for sexualized violence prevention offices and support for the survivors. Whereas an open letter is being shared by the Alliance of BC Students urging the government to take immediate action to address sexualized violence on post-secondary campuses, be a result that the Simon Fraser Student Society to sign on to uh, the open letter named Urgent Call for Action on Sexualized and Gender-Based Violence in Post-Secondary Education shared by the Alliance of BC Students. Can I get a mover, please? BP External. BP External moves. Can we get a seconder? Finance. Finance seconds. Um, Ishana, as the mover, you'll have speaking priority. You can go ahead. Thanks, Abby. Yeah, um, I just want to introduce two speakers that we have in here today who reached out to me about bringing this letter. Um, also, just for background, myself and Gabe also lobbied during the Lines of BC Students lobby days um, for the asks on the letter, which I submitted to council. So if you want to see the letter, please look back at the minutes, which were sent, not the minutes, the agenda, which was sent by staff. Um, but yeah, if we could welcome Hassan and Joshua, who are just going to talk about it a little bit more. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them as well. Thank you. Um, if you want to, um list on this item, feel free. Please do keep in mind again um, that we're sensitive um, around uh, this topic. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, I um, think we can take this to a vote then, seeking unanimous consent. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, this passes. All right, I know we had people from ABCS here. Um, if you want to say a quick word, you can feel free. Um, yeah, I, I could just say thank you so much. That that was uh, that was easy. Uh, we appreciate uh, your folks' support on this. Uh, there's a lot of organizations involved, uh, and it's just awesome to to get your unanimous support. Uh, it's really important. We've been working on this for quite a while, so yeah, it's just awesome to have your support. Thank you, folks, so much. Thank you, Joshua. Yeah, I think um, this is something we take very, very seriously. So I'm glad to see there's stuff being done about this. And uh, yeah, so thanks, Council. And uh, thank you for coming by. I'm sorry you guys didn't really get to say much, but um, that's, that's okay. Um, if I may add a, an extra note, uh, we are so grateful that the, the SFSS uh, wants to sign on. And if you know any other organizations, whether they're under the SFSS, whether it's it's your uh, faculty student union or any other organizations on or off SFU, uh, the SFU campus that would like to sign on to the letter, uh, we welcome that. And uh, I'll put our emails in the chat and thank you very much for your support. Awesome. Did anyone else have anything they wanted to say on this? You can list yourself in the chat. I'm not seeing anything, so I think we're good to move on. So thank you guys for dropping by the meeting today. You can feel free to hang around, and I believe they've thrown their um, emails in the chat as well. Um, 
Well, thank you and have a good night, Bryden and uh, ABCS staff. Take care. All right. Um, we are now, oh, sorry. So tr um, trigger warning done. The motion is done. Let me. Um, Yes, so um, we're past the trigger warning area now. Anyone who left can come back now, put them in the chat as well. All right. We are now not parked, past. Thank you, Ashley. Um, we are now on to SFSS Club and Student Union Funding Guidelines, which is submitted by our VP events. And the motion reads as follows. Whereas Member Services Advisory Committee has proofread the document titled SFSS Club and Student Union Funding Guidelines updated by the Member Services Coordinators, be it resolved to adopt the document titled SFSS Club and Student Union Funding Guidelines as the uh, SFSS Club and Student Union Funding Guidelines for the SFSS. Can you get a mover, please? Events? Events moves. Can you get a seconder? Finance. Oh, Ooh, that was close. I think finance got that one. Um, Vibov is the submitter and the mover of this motion. Do you want to go ahead and speak on this? I guess like we pretty much decided, um, like discussed this in the last meeting as well. So it's just like a little bit update um, on uh, one of the things or two other things. Uh, that's pretty much it, I guess. If anybody wants to take time to read it, just please, if you want to list in the chat. Yeah, if anyone's anything they want to comment, they can feel free to list in the chat. I'm not seeing anything, so I think we're good to take this to a vote. We're going to seek unanimous consent on this. Seek unanimous consent. If you wish to assent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom, and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, that passes. All right. Thank you, everyone. Next, we are on to... Um, events uh, and Student Affairs Committee's Counselor Appointment. This was submitted by our VP Events. Title as follows. And motion reads as follows. Oh my gosh, why is it copied like that? Sorry, this is going to look very ugly, but it reads as follows. Whereas linguistics and French counselors have resigned from Council and ESAC, Thus, leaving two vacant counselor positions, be it resolved to appoint X and Y as the counselors for ESAC to serve for the rest. Wait a moment. Oh, feel free to go again. Go ahead. I'm back. You can go, B. Okay. So, events committee is basically the committee that kind of like deals with all the events, right? And uh, we are hosting like a couple of good events coming up in the month of February and March. Uh, really good events coming up. Uh, Pub night is coming up, and then, then a couple of uh, other events um, like Foley and then those uh, uh, like blood drives and uh, you know movie nights are coming up uh, i guess there's there's nothing better to learn um, like about events uh, than working in the events committee so just uh, feel free to join it i mean uh, uh, we have a like great team uh, everybody's familiar of my team um, seven at large members we had uh, ethan and uh, um, olive uh, they just left so uh, uh, basically you know we are just like missing them but we also like want to find like new people who can fill their spaces and like you know like and learn from the committee and like you know uh, bring some uh, event ideas uh, most fun committee feel free to join it thank you thank you V um, Ella do you want to go ahead yeah, I just wanted to tie in what V was saying to um, the lobbying survey that all of you know that was just sent out yesterday. Um, of the almost 200 responses we've gotten already, the anonymous responses, a lot of them were students saying that they'd really like to, to see the SFSS build a little bit more of um, a community presence on campus. Um, I know we all talk about you know, it's a computer commuter campus, but I think this is a great opportunity to be able to do that, to provide that for students. Um, so I really, 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 really think all of you should should join on. And the team I know is great. Thank you, Ella. Um, I'll list myself really quick. Again, as someone who's on the events committee for two years, it's about like, probably the, like I don't want to call it the best committee because like every committee is the best committee, but um, like, kind of the chillest committee in terms of like 
you can kind of like whatever you're interested in is what you can do, right? Like if you're really, really into pub nights, you can help with the pub nights. If you're really, really into like socials, you can help with the socials. If you're into more creative things like a Bob Ross paint night or something, you can kind of like try to help with that. Obviously it is getting towards the end of the year. So there's limited resources and limited time. So like, there, that is a bit of a constriction, but if you're interested in coming back to council next year or interested in being on events next year as an at-large or something like that, this is a great opportunity to get a taster for that. So seeing no one else is listed, I'm going to start the call for nominations first. Call for nominations for events committee. Feel free to list yours. Oh, actually, V, did you mention when your uh, meetings are? All right. Um, the meetings are going to be for this semester. We're keeping it on Tuesdays around 6.30 p.m. So like after classes, like usually in the evenings. Awesome. Thank you, V. It's going to be bi-weekly, sorry. Bi-weekly. Awesome. Thank you. Um, all right. First call for nominations. You can list yourself. I highly suggest you list yourself. Second call for nominations. Uh, Tiana, their uh, meetings are online. Although sometimes the events members do end up coming to the office and hanging out and stuff. So whatever that's worth. Arthur also asking in the, in the chat. Yes, I know we've had this in the past. I'm not sure if we have it now. I don't know if we have a list of everyone who doesn't have a committee. Obviously, if you're listening and you know you don't have a committee, this is kind of one of the easier ones to do. So I, I ask that you guys hold yourselves accountable to some degree. Um, if, if what you've heard today from BIPOC to first year engagement to events isn't your style and you don't have a committee, please do email me, residentsss.ca, um, and we can try and sort something out. But I really, really do ask that people try and find a committee that works for them. Um, All right, second call for nominations for events committee, second call. Please, please, please list yourself. Third and final call for nominations. Pretty please. Yes, Tiana, yes, it will be. If you're interested in this, this is a great one to join. Tiana Lists, would you like to nominate yourself? Yes, I'd like to nominate myself, please. Beautiful. Uh, Amina, you've listed. Nominate yourself, there we go. Beautiful, awesome. All right, that's two. Sweet, third and final call for nominations, and it's over. All right. We get to fill both slots. There we go. We finally filled all the slots for a committee election. Thank you. All right. We're going to amend um, the be it resolved clause to replace a point X and Y with um, Bachelor of Environment Counselor uh, Tiana. Where'd you go? Bachelor of Environment Counselor Tiana. I'm so sorry. I'm going to botch this. Uh, Angelique and um, Amina Hassan. Ahsoka Counselor Amina Hassan. All right, so let me just type that out. Um, while I am typing this out, I'll move that. Can I get a seconder, please? BP external. BP external seconds. There we go. Uh, that's the amendment. We'll be replacing uh, a point X and Y with those two names. Um, I've moved. Ishana seconded. Is there any discussion on this? Seeing none, we'll take this to a vote. We're going to seek unanimous consent on this. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and we'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, that passes. And now we're moving on to the amended motion. Um, I'm going to take this to a vote. Seeking unanimous consent. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, this passes. All righty. Um, 
We are flying through the agenda. Um, and oh, actually, first of all, before we go move on, congratulations, Tiana and Amina. Um, thank you for picking up committees, and I think the events committee will be happy to have you. Although we have the chair here, who I'm sure um, is happy to have you as well. All right, I think we are flying through this. We have a couple more new business items, and then if everyone's okay after our new business items, I think we can take a five minute break and then move on to discussion items. Is everyone cool with that plan of action? Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Um, we are going to be moving on to, I believe it's Roscoe's amendments. Um, Roscoe, if you have your titles and your motions handy, if you could post those in the chat, that'd be spectacular. Yes. Second. Uh, Ishana, we have two motions left, uh, just the motions Roscoe amended on. And then we have uh, three discussion items, I believe, all of which are from you. Two are from you. Oh, maybe someone else amended on the collaboration with SFU then. Okay. All right, so the first new business item is... Uh, ratifying changes to the SFSS SFU DNA letter of agreement, whereas acting VP Finance and Services engaged with support staff and executives of SFU DNA regarding a change to the letter of agreement between the society and SFU DNA be resolved that the council, that council approves the changes to section 5D in regards to check requisitions and agreement at, in the agreement as attached to this agenda. Uh, can I get a mover, please? I will move. VP Finance moves. Can we get a seconder? BP equity. BP equity seconds. Is there any discussion on this? Roscoe, go ahead. Yeah, so I'm going to briefly speak on this. So DNA, uh, uh, DNA approached me um, saying there was an issue in regards to uh, staff, their support staff not being able to sign uh, the check requisitions. I knew this was an issue since before, like, uh, last year when I was a uh, DNA exec and, you know, they, they approached me with this and I said, yeah, uh, it's definitely doable to make it so that the staff can also sign. So it's only one staff member and one uh, uh, DNA executive, uh, like a student member, so they can sign check recs. So that it's a minor change. Um, they sent me in their meeting minutes where they approved this. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's fairly minor. Uh, I just need council to uh, just vote on this motion and ratify that change to that section. Thank you, Roscoe. Sounds fairly routine. Uh, is there anyone else who wants to comment on this? I am not seeing anyone, so we're going to take this to a vote and seek unanimous consent on this. Seeking unanimous consent. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, that passes. All right, we're on to our last new business item of the day. Um, it is titled Grant Core Funding and Council Approved Expenditures Transparency, uh, submitted by our VP Finance, where and it reads as follows. Whereas the acting VP Finance and Services has received a number of requests regarding spending by the society clubs and departmental student unions, as well as council itself. Whereas the acting VP Finance and Services believes that the best way to address spending questions is by transparency to the society membership, be it resolved that council tasked the acting VP Finance and Services with uh, ideation of a finance financial expenditures transparency policy that ensures transparency of financial expenditures by SFSS groups, as well as council uh, and the executive committee while maintaining and building onto adequate privacy protections, uh, be it resolved that the acting VP Finance and Services involve the Finance and Administrative Services Committee in planning this policy. Can I get a mover, please? I will move. Finance moves. Can we get a seconder? Be equity. equity seconds. All right. Um, Roscoe, did you want to speak on this as well? Uh, yeah. So to give you an overview, um, I... I get a lot of um, emails uh, where people ask me, uh, 
what is this club doing? How come they got this much uh, money or like things like that? I've also heard from students that have come into, uh, you know, scheduled office hours with me. They they wanted more process in regards to uh, how clubs and DSUs spend their uh, grants and core uh, core funding, all that funding. Uh, so I think it would be a good idea for us uh, to develop a policy where we can disclose all the transactions occurring in uh, core funding and trust accounts. Uh, uh, sorry, core funding and grants uh, for for clubs and uh, DSUs. Uh, and any other group, you know, the SPSS reports onto our website. Uh, we just have to figure out the process. Do we report every single thing or expenses over a certain amount? And also we have to make sure that, you know, the proper privacy uh, procedure is followed. So we don't, you know, accidentally dox people in the process. It's more of a, uh, what did the, what kind of grants we gave to groups and, Whenever they cashed in that grant in full, partially, what was it spent on, things like that. So I hope everyone can support this because it's giving more, you know, insight and transparency to our membership in regards to how money is spent. Thank you, Roscoe. Um, I'll comment on that. I'm glad you're still uh, making sure to respect people's privacy. And I think um, uh, increased transparency and accountability uh, from this is good. It's also a good way to just get feedback from the membership if they think we're being too um, loose-handed with their money. Um, I don't know if there's a better way to put that, but essentially we collect fees from the students, right? They feel like we're giving it away too much, then this is a way to get direct feedback. Um, or if they feel we're not giving away enough, and this is another way, again, to get direct feedback from students who can now see and say, oh, well, you're spending this on this. Well, as students, we don't want that. Or we're spending this on this, you could have given them more or whatever, right? I think this is just a good mechanism for us to get um, data and keep transparency going. So I think this is all good stuff. Um, is there anyone else who wanted to comment on this? Uh, C's, Andrew, go ahead. Hi, uh, I wanted to ask about this. It seems like a great idea to get more transparency on how our money is spent. But I, for instance, I know our CSS VP finance, uh, she's really busy all the time. Is there going to be any extra work put on the clubs and student societies, or is it going to be done by Roscoe? Very good question. Uh, Roscoe, you can go ahead and respond. So to I'll respond. It's going to be done by me and staff. So, you know, we have access to the uh, clubs and DSU portal, you know, the Go S the Go S portal. So it's just a matter of just us looking into all those transactions and just publishing it ourselves. So you don't have to do anything. It's just, uh, it, you know, it'll be something that <laughs> VP Finance and the staff do and possibly the comms department as well uh, be involved in if you put all these transactions onto the site. So no additional work for uh, student union execs or club execs. Thank you, Roscoe. Um, that was a very good question, Andrew. Thank you for asking that. Um, if anyone else has any questions or comments they want to make, now's the time. Feel free to list in the chat. I am not seeing anything, so I think we're good to take this to a vote. We're going to seek unanimous consent on this, seeking unanimous consent. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, this passes. All right. We we're done with new business, and I did see there was interest in a five-minute break before um, we move on to discussion items. But I do have one request before we uh, end our new business and go to break. As I mentioned during intros, we do have since it is someone's birthday here today, so um, I don't know how we want to do this. If people want to unmute, or if you guys just want to verbally sing along with me while muted, um, I would like to sing a happy birthday to our vice chair really quickly. So. Um, I'll count us in on like, like a five count. And if you want to join me, you can. Or if you just want to see me embarrass myself by myself, that's fine as well. So it was a five, four, three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Ashley. Happy birthday to you. All right. Thank you, everybody. Embarrassed myself and Ashley sufficiently enough, so I think we can uh, uh, head to break. So thank you, everyone. Um, we're back in five minutes. All right. Welcome back from the break, everyone. Um, we are now moving on to discussion items, and I was informed um, thirteen point one was submitted by accident, so um, that's going to be retracted and moved from the agenda. So we just have the two discussion items that were amended on. And I do apologize. I have unfortunately lost them, but I believe Ishana, you submitted both of them. Um, if you could just remind me about putting in the chat the two titles, that'd be spectacular. Awesome. So we can start with update on SFU student climate organizer facing deportation. Ishana, if you want to begin with that, you can feel free. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so first update, um, I know I told council last time when we talked about this that I would be bringing this to exec, so this is just letting folks know what we passed at exec for transparency. So I brought this to exec when I had more information, things like that. So we, so executives passed a motion to send a letter of support and solidarity for Zane on behalf of the SFSS executive to Zane's assigned criminal court judge um, and to and a letter to the Ministry of Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship. So right now I'm working on those letters. Um, we also passed um, a be it resolved clause to use new mode um, as a template or another writing alternate initiative to be created um, and started in collaboration with support students and groups. And um, it was delegated for myself to be that point of contact and coordination. Um, so that's something that other community members are working on and then um, and then basically we passed another be it resolved clause to just like share around petitions on social media just in support for Zane. Um, also, um, if folks weren't here during the last council meeting, I also made a briefing note for this. Um, so then you can check on check out that briefing note if you want to learn more about what's going on um, with Zane and his situation and um, understanding. And you can also view our exec minutes um, and the exec YouTube video um, where I talk about this more as well. However, if there are questions, please feel free to ask or come by my office hours. Um, and I can provide more information. But yeah, I just kind of summarized the three be it resolved clauses that we passed at executive for this. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you, Ishana. Um, all right, so did anyone have any questions from Ishana? Ashley, go ahead. Yeah, I, you probably mentioned and I just totally missed it, but did this pass at exec or has it not gone there yet? Um, uh, Ashley, I can say this did pass at exec. Anyone else with any questions or comments? Cool, cool. Not seeing anything. I think we can move on to the next item, Ishana. Awesome. Okay, so a couple updates here. Um, first of all, I know last time we did a um election for a counselor to come on this trip. Unfortunately, the external office and I, like meaning the staff who work on external things, um, in the SFSS, we realized logistically it actually did not work out. So we apologize to the counselor who got elected. Um, it logistically just didn't work out. Um, for example, I think Ella, I don't know if you remember too, but um, it was for accommodation. I think it was money wise as well. Um, and then I there were a, two more things. I don't know Ella if you remember, but it just like logistically didn't work out. So the confirmed people going will just be me, Abby, um, and two of our staff members, our campaigns coordinator and the board organizer. Um, once again, we really do apologize. It just logistically did not work out, but we have four people going and the advocacy will happen. Um, Another thing, we have confirmed a bunch of meetings, which is super great. So the Canadian Federation of Students has confirmed. Um, I think we have a, a couple meetings with MPs. I love you can help me out here again. Um, and also $4,920 was passed at the External and Community Affairs Committee um, for this trip. So just for transparency, that was passed at ECA and it passed. 
Um, yeah, I think everything else is now just staff booking, accommodation, flights, things like that. Um, I guess the other update is that the questionnaire has released and has been sent to all of the SFSS membership. So if you are a member, you got an email. I think already we have like over like 100 responses to the drop form, which is super great. So getting a lot of feedback there. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's basically it. So if you haven't already, please fill out that questionnaire um, and send it to your constituents in your student unions um, or your CGs and so on. I think that's it. If I think Ella has a list as well, but that's it for me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Abby. Um, I wanted to just expand a little bit on what Ishana was saying um, and, you know, in terms of transparency as well. So, yes, we definitely got um, a meeting with the Canadian Federation of Students. We're going to be meeting with their president and a few of their board of directors, which is super exciting. Um, they lead a lot of um, the lobbying on the East Coast when it comes to student, um, just student advocacy in general. So that's super exciting. Uh, we have confirmed a meeting with the senior advisor issues for the Ministry of Health. Um, so we'll be sitting down with them and having a conversation about, you know, the effects of like COVID and post-COVID um, on students and um, the change of the lands the academic landscape we're in now. We got a confirmed meeting with MP Tracy Gray, who is a member of Parliament. Um, she currently serves as the Shadow Minister for Employment future workforce development and disability inclusion. So we're going to be having a lot of conversations with them about um, specifically, um, you know, students going into post uh, academic, the post academic world and, and what it means to like, you know, get a job, future work, how, as you all will be the future workforce, and also speaking specifically in terms of disability justice. Um, and then the last person is MP uh, Ariel Kaba Kaya Baga. I butchered that last one. Um, she's also a member of parliament um, who was part of the cohort of people that wrote the, uh, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. So we're going to be having a lot of conversations with her about um, climate justice. Um, I think she also sits on the Disability Inclusion Committee as well. So um, we have gotten those four already and we are we're waiting for like five more confirmations. So we're trying to make as successful our time there as possible. Um, and we've been having a few meetings, Ishan and I, with some students as well that have been bringing us like their own individual issues that they want us to advocate for and that they are really, really like passionate about. So that's been really lovely. And I can take any more questions that we have. Um, if we have questions or concerns about who we're meeting, um, we sent invites to all of the parties. So yeah, I can, I can take any questions around that as well. Thank you, Ella. Shana, please go ahead. Yeah, thank you. I also wanted to bring up a conversation I had with one um, of the External and Community Affairs Committee members. Um, I actually talked to him about talking here as well to council. Um, it is e sorry. Um, it is about the tank farm and then something that we can talk about at um, at lobby days too. So Grayson, if you'd like to say anything as well, I know we discussed bringing this to council as well. So if you would like to speak, go for it. If not, no worries. Um, sure, no problem. Just very quickly, a uh, reminder that our, <clears throat> excuse me, SFU Burnaby campus is uh, next to a federally owned and currently expanding uh, oil storage facility. Um, sort of a long history uh, going back a decade with SFU, the SFSS, um, you know, lots of people at SFU concerned about it, uh, talking to you know, various representatives of government about concerns, basically sort of all ignored. Um, so I, I guess just in the lobbying work, um, this is something that we can remind the federal government of in our conversations. This is something that's very unique to SFU. Um, they've sort of spent a lot of money on this project uh, and it's something that is harmful for our community in a number of ways. And it would be nice to see them sort of balance that out with some, you know, spending some money, uh, improving and uh, helping our community rather than harming it. So 
uh, yeah, it's something that I'm working with Ashana on, um, you know, around the language, around specific asks, uh, you know, maybe looking for some ongoing funding for the SFSS. Um, could be scholarships, could be, you know, directed towards initiatives, or could just be general funding. So just some thoughts on that. Thank you, Grayson, for pointing that out. I totally agree. Um, if they're going to be taking advantage of us and like putting us at risk like that, they should at least pay us off. Um, that's not the moral stake from that. You just should not be putting students at risk. But if you are, do pay us off. But not an official statement. Um, if uh, anyone else wants to comment on that, you can feel free to list in the chat. Seeing none, um, I think that wraps up the discussion. And thanks for bringing this up, Ishana. Again, very much looking forward to going to Ottawa. I've never been, so looking forward to this. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that brings us to adjournment. All right, everyone. Um, we went through 12 motions, two discussion items, a presentation, and uh, two reports. And uh, we finished at 7 o'clock, so I think we've done quite well. And I think... Uh, Despite the bumpy ride this year, we've reached an area of efficiency. So great job, everyone. Um, so I'm going to move the, to adjournment. Be it resolved to adjourn this meeting at 7.07 p.m. Um, I'll move. Can we get a seconder, please? Finance. Finance seconds. Uh, discussion. Anyone really want to stay here a little extra time and do absolutely nothing? Not saying anything like that. So we're going to move to the vote. Seeking unanimous consent. If you wish to dissent, please use the raise hand function on Zoom. And I'll call on you for your vote. Seeing none, that passes. Thank you, everybody.